So I currently take krill oil daily, and there's a reason why I prefer this source of omega-3 fatty acids over fish oil. In this video, I'll point out why krill oil may be actually one of the best omega-3 sources that you can use for a variety of health improvements. Now, despite the growing awareness of nutrition, our modern diets remain deficient in crucial nutrients like omega-3 fatty acids. And these essential fats, we're talking about EPA and DHA, are extremely crucial for our health. Yet, many of us are not getting enough of them from our food. In a perfect world, we'd all be consuming plenty of wild-caught salmon, sardines, and other fatty fish, which are, of course, rich in omega-3s. But the reality is that most of us are eating too much of the wrong kinds of fats, particularly omega-6 fats, which are found in seed oils like soybean oil, canola oil, corn oil, and so on. Cottonseed oil is another example that we might know. Crisco. Now, um, these are abundant in the typical Western diet, especially in ultra-processed foods, and are often crowding out the omega-3s that our bodies actually need. In an ideal uh, world, the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 would be 1 to 1. Now, today it's closer to 20 to 1, 20 being the omega-6. So you can see that we are consuming way too much of these omega-6 fats. So to try to balance this out, many people turn to supplements like fish oil, assuming it's the easiest solution. However, there's an issue with many fish oil supplements that you find in the stores that can be of low quality, and studies have repeatedly shown that the majority of them can be rancid or oxidized by the time we buy them, especially if the oil has been exposed to heat, light, or air in the production process or storage. Now, you may be wondering, how do I know that the fish oil is still good? And that's actually a great question. A simple test that works in most cases is to chew a capsule after you first open the bottle. And if it tastes mild or neutral, then you likely have a good quality fish oil. If it tastes sour or acidic or very fishy, then you've got a rancid oil, and that's certainly a red flag. Those rancid oils contain harmful compounds that can do more harm than good to your health. So if you want to ensure you're getting the omega-3s you need without the risk of consuming oxidized fats, one option is to take krill oil. Now, what exactly is krill oil? So krill are small shrimp-like crustaceans found in the cold waters of Antarctica. And while fish oil contains higher amounts of omega-3s, particularly EPA and DHA, krill oil has a unique advantage. The omega-3s in krill oil are more bioavailable. This means that your body absorbs and utilizes them more effectively than those from traditional fish oil. But that's not all. Krill oil also contains a powerful antioxidant called astaxanthin. And this is not found in fish oil. So astaxanthin is what gives krill its reddish color. And it has an array of health benefits from supporting your immune system to protecting your skin. So let's break this down a bit more. First, astaxanthin is known for its antioxidant properties. Antioxidants help to neutralize free radicals, which are unstable molecules that can cause oxidative stress and damage our cells, which in turn leads to inflammation, aging, and a variety of chronic diseases. Astaxanthin works by targeting and neutralizing reactive oxygen species, which are free radicals that can trigger inflammation in the body. Chronic inflammation is linked to a number of conditions, including heart disease, arthritis, cognitive decline, and even cancer. So speaking of cognitive health, astaxanthin, again, high in krill oil, has been shown to support brain function. And this is important because astaxanthin is small enough to cross the blood-brain barrier. And most supplements actually cannot do that. So this allows it to help protect the brain from oxidative damage that could lead to conditions like Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative disorders. And this makes it a valuable supplement, especially as we age and look to protect our cognitive health. In addition to its brain benefits, astaxanthin also plays a role in reducing inflammation in the body. And inflammation is often the root cause of chronic conditions. And by combating this, astaxanthin helps with everything from improving heart health to reducing the risk uh, of conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and diabetes. Now, astaxanthin may even help with skin health. And we all know that UV damage is one of the main causes of premature aging in our skin. Now, we want some sunlight, but too much sunlight, especially in the uh, summertime with a lot of UV radiation, can be damaging, of course, right? Now, the research has shown that astaxanthin can help protect the skin from UV rays by blocking their penetration and reducing existing sun damage. It actually accumulates in the epidermis and dermis layers of your skin, offering protection from within. So if you're looking to not only support your internal health, but also protect your skin from the signs of aging, so more of an anti-aging benefit and nootropic benefit, then krill oil with astaxanthin is actually a great choice. And let's talk about one more important benefit of krill oil. That's its purity. 
Now, because krill are at the bottom of the food chain, they're tiny, right? They don't accumulate toxin like mercury and PCBs in the same amounts as larger fish do. Larger fish, which are commonly used in fish oil supplements, ha can have higher concentration of these harmful substances because toxins uh, accumulate up the food chain, right? So krill, you know, primarily feeding on plankton and because they have a very short lifespan, much shorter than most fish, um, so they are very much less likely to carry these toxic contaminants in them. Another factor that makes krill oil stand out is its absorption again, right? I mentioned this before. The omega-3s in krill oil um, are absorbed much easier. And this is because they're bound to phospholipids, which makes them more easily absorbed by the body. In contrast, the omega-3s in fish oil are primarily bound to triglycerides, which are not as easily absorbed. And this means that the omega-3s from krill oil might be more effective at delivering the benefits you're looking for, even though the concentration might be lower in krill oil, right? And again, whether that's supporting heart health, brain health, or reducing inflammation, right? So when you shop for krill oil, it's important to choose a high quality product. You should look for one that's IKOS certified, that's the International Krill Oil uh, Standards, as this ensures that the product has been independently tested for quality and purity. A reputable brand will also provide third-party testing results to verify that their product meets strict standards. Now, one example of a brand that meets these criteria, that's the one I'm currently taking, is Viva Naturals. I think they're a very good company. Uh, High-quality fish oil, krill oil, and they also have organic uh, flax seeds supplements, right? Now, flax seeds interesting as well. They can certainly give you omega-3s as well, but it works a bit differently because flax seeds, uh, being a plant, they have ALA, which is converted at roughly 10% to DHA and EPA. So that's another option, of course, that you can choose. But when it comes to omega-3s, again, I think they're very helpful. I've done videos before to point out the issues we have with fish oils, especially uh, that many of them are rancid unless you choose a good supplement. But the advantage I see in krill oil is the absorption and then, of course, astaxanthin in terms of having this additional antioxidant in there that helps uh, protect your body from inflammation. So if you found this topic interesting, you should check out this video here about methylene blue and this video here about the benefits of vitamin D3.